All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for Ozzy Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter four here, which is asking us to determine the moment of the force about point O, neglecting the thickness of the member. So um, this is kind of the classic moments problem here. Uh, where I'd start off is I'd look at this 50 Newton force here. We only have one force acting on our, uh, on our structure here and it's acting diagonally. So a good place to start might be to decompose it. Um, we can do that using this kind of vector decomposition idea that I've shown in the top right here. We can say that the vertical ooh, the vertical uh, component of this 50 Newton force here is uh, 50 sine 60, right? And we can say that the horizontal component here is going to be 50 cos 60. Okay, so we've decomposed this 50 Newton force down here into its uh, vertical and horizontal components. We might want to consider now then, well, how are these individual components, the vertical and horizontal components here, enacting moments about point O, right? Well, this horizontal component here is uh, going to enact a anti-clockwise moment about point O. Again, if we imagine we're placing our finger on point O here, then that horizontal component is gonna rotate the paper anti-clockwise. However, in the case of the vertical component here, this 50 sine 60 uh, component, that would be enacting a clockwise moment. So we're gonna want to find two perpendicular uh, distances from point O here. We're going to want to find seemingly this length here, which um, will give us uh, the perpendicular distance of the horizontal component. Let's call it Y because it acts vertically. Uh, and we're also going to want to find this length here, right? So uh, this will be for the vertical component, uh, which is acting on this point here. Let's call that X, okay? So to start with, I reckon let's calculate for x. So we note uh, for x, we've got this 100 millimeters here. We've then got the kind of um, horizontal component of this 200 millimeter length here. Uh, I should have added to my diagram actually, that this section of the structure acts 45 degrees to the horizontal. And we've got this, this final kind of 100 millimeters here. So we could say then uh, that our length X is equal to that 100 millimeters plus the horizontal component of this 200 millimeter length here, which we could describe as 200 cos 45 here. And then we've got this 100, 100 millimeter length on the end here, so plus 100. Okay, and when we put this into our calculator, that gives us a value of 341.4 millimeters. To make this more workable later on, uh, I'm going to convert this into meters. So we can say this is 0.3414 meters. Let's calculate for Y then. So we note that Y really is just the um, vertical component of this 200 millimeter length here. So we could just describe y as 200 sine 45, which when we put in our calculator gives us a value of 141.4 or uh, millimeters there, or in meters that gives us 0 0.1414 meters. Okay, so we have the perpendicular distances uh, for each of our components here. Let's go ahead then and um, solve for the moments acting about point O. So we could we could describe that like this. We could say with the, the sum of moments acting about point O acting clockwise is equal to. Let's consider um, let's consider moments acting clockwise first. So we're going to have the vertical component acting down here uh, and acting a clockwise moment about point O. We could say then that that is going to be our length for x, 0.3414 uh, times uh, the magnitude of the force, so 50 sine 60. Okay, let's look at our other moment then for our horizontal component. That's going to enact a anti, uh, yeah, anti-clockwise moment about 0.0. Uh, 
So that's we take that as the negative direction here. So we say minus um, the perpendicular distance, which is 0.1414 times the magnitude of the force here, which is 50 cos 60. So we can take this sum here, and when we bung this into our calculator, it gives us a value of 11.25 Newton meters. And that's our solution there. So uh, if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.